Okay, so this is gonna be a rant, and I'm gonna get it wound up and go on a tangent, and I am not gonna watch my mouth, so language alert. Probably don't want the kids to watch this, and if you're easily offended, go ahead and just click away, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. So, I just did a video a couple of days ago about being good to people and putting your best foot forward and how there's no reason to go out in public with perfect strangers and be a shithead on a day-to-day -day basis. There is no reason for it. So I ran into a situation last night that makes my exact point on that. And here we go. I went to Kroger last night to get some groceries, okay? Kroger. It's a grocery store, all right? It's after work. It's packed, okay? So I pull into a parking spot in my truck, and I pull into the middle of my parking spot. And on the side of me, there is someone in a big-ass Escalade that has parked all the way up on the lines. No big deal, whatever. Happens all the time. People can't park. I know it. I'm not going to dwell on it. Get out of my truck. I go in the store. I get the baby food and the bread and the eggs and all the other stuff that we need, okay? I come back out, and on the hood of my truck, there is a piece of notebook paper with some purple magic marker chiseled scribbled nonsense on it that you can't even barely make sense of it's misspelled all to hell <laughs> verbally written yelling at me for how close I had parked to their Escalade are you fucking kidding me? Your fucking Escalade is parked up on the fucking line and I'm in the middle of my parking spot and I blew it off like whatever. Okay, I'm parked a little bit close to you because you're on the line of your spot. I'm in the middle of mine getting groceries. We're at the grocery store. I don't even know you. And you thought it was necessary and the correct course of action to take your time to scribble some nonsensical, illiterate bullshit note and put it on the fucking hood of my truck? Are you serious right now? You couldn't just be like, oh man, you know, we're kind of close. I can barely get my fat ass into my truck, making an assumption there, because I could get out of my truck. So if you made a big deal about it, whatever. But you, so you, you took your time to write, to scribble out a note, cursing at me about how close I was parked to you when you're the one that's up on the line. You couldn't just let it go and get in your Escalade and go home and have a nice evening. You had to actually be shitty in a note to a complete stranger in a parking lot? Really? What are you doing with your life? What What is wrong in your life and inside of you that makes you think that you need to, to do that to people? I would never in my life do that to people. I've come out of stores before and had little dents and dings in my door where someone had opened up and hit them. And I was pissed off for a second, but I was like, it's public, it's a parking lot, it happens, there's nothing I can do about it, so I need to move on with my evening and try to have a good time and not dwell on this and be shitty about it. So, and I'm going to cut to that note, somewhere in here, I'm going to cut so you can see that note. That note is literally, looks like it was drawn by someone with an arm growing out of their ass, and you, that was necessary? You had to do that, you just had to, you... So you come out and you're like, oh, this truck is too close to me. I don't even notice that I'm the one that's all up on the edge of my parking spot. Who cares? Uh, that's entitlement is what that is. That means that you, one, you're an unhappy person because you feel the need to, to give somebody shit in public for something that's not even their fault to begin with. Even if it was my fault, if I was parked up close, no harm, no foul. I didn't hit your truck. I didn't do anything. I didn't bang into your truck. I didn't do anything to you whatsoever. And you are such an unhappy person and such a piece of shit on the inside that you have to take a moment out of your day to take a marker and scribble on a piece of paper and leave it on someone's hood just to let them know that you were pissed that their truck was closer to yours. Really. Seriously. Like that's what, what kind of, you, you have got to be, you have got to be an unhappy, entitled piece of crap to think that you are so important in this world and that your right of way and people not inconveniencing you is so important that you are gonna take time out of your day to piss on mine for no reason. No reason whatsoever. Guys, there is no reason for that. There is no reason for you to be shitty to anybody else. And I'm using language and I apologize, whatever. Don't, you didn't have to watch the video, I warned you ahead of time. I get worked up about this because there's no reason for it. I try so hard and so many people I know try so hard 
to put their best foot forward in this world and be cool to people. And even if someone out in public slights you, if it wasn't intentional or it was an accident or whatever, dude, no harm, no foul, okay? It doesn't do you any good to go off on people in public. It doesn't do you any good to go off on people really in private unless there's a serious, serious issue. And then it's still only constructive in certain situations. Be nice to people. And for the love of God, if you are going to be a mean, terrible asshole out in public, don't be a stupid, mean, terrible asshole. At least, if you're going to leave me a shit note, at least spell shit right. At least use punctuation. At least make sense. That note didn't make any fucking sense. That note was an absolute giant pile of illiterate fucking garbage. If you're going to give me shit, if you think that you have the nuts and you have the gall to give me shit about something, then you at least need to be intelligent enough to make it make sense. You have to have a point. You have to have something where I can be like, oh man, shit, I fucked up. I, I apologize. I'm sorry. You're right. I fucked up. If I can't even read your note, then you failed. So be nice to people. And if you're going to be shitty to people, at least don't be fucking stupid. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's examine this in an, intelligent, in an intelligent format here real quick, okay? Uh, notebook paper, purple marker. Cutting it close to hitting my truck fucking truck. Really? Seriously? You couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't get this right? We couldn't get this right. We couldn't get this right. We couldn't get like no commas, no, no. I mean, if you're going to be shitty, use punctuation and proper spelling for God's sake.